Hey, hello everyone, welcome to Homemaker. So today we're gonna to be working on these houseplant gem paintings. So if you've never done this before, I'm gonna go over it with you. You should have a different print of a houseplant. Everybody's just gonna look different. Um, covered in a sheet like this. Um, you should have a blown up version of this just in case um, you're having trouble seeing these little symbols. Um, you should have a color chart and you should have different bags of colored gems. You'll have a tray for holding onto your gems. And this is the tool that we use for picking up gems. As long as this sort of uh, waxy square, that's going to help us out. So the first thing you're going to want to do is peel one of the um, plastic backings off of um, this little wax square. You're also going to want to peel this plastic off of your print. But don't throw it away because later on, if you're working on it and you get tired, you want to put it away, um, you can cover this back up. It is sticky, so if you leave it exposed, it's going to attract dust and pet hair and stuff. So just cover it up if you're um, going to put it away for a while. So the way that this works is you look at the symbol on your print, and then you find the corresponding symbol on this sheet and figure out what color you need. So I started a few minutes ago. And I was looking for um, the symbol M. And so, sorry, this is going to look backwards, I think, on camera. I'm not sure. Um, but for me, M is 907. So then I find my gems that are numbered 907. <clears throat> Course them out. And start working. So it's up to you if you want to work one color at a time. Or if you want to go row by row. Um... If you go row by row, it's probably going to be a little more accurate as far as, far as the um, gems being right next to each other. Um, but I like to go color by color. Um, also, I only have one tray, so I'm just going to put the one color in here so I don't get confused and start working on that. So with this tool, all you're going to do is stab this waxy stuff. And you won't see it on here. It goes up into this little metal piece that's on the tip. And that's what we're going to use to pick up our gems. So one side of the gem is flat and one side of side of it is kind of a dome sh or pyramid shape. So we're going to be picking up the raised part that's, uh, that's domed. The flat part sits against this sheet. So all you have to do is touch this tool to the gem and it picks it up. And then I'll find an M and line it up. I'm gonna adjust this. And then you just go back and forth, picking up your gems. And with the wax, you should be able to pick up multiple gems after you load it. If it seems like it's not sticky, then you'll wanna get some more wax on your tool. And you can kind of move these around if you need to with the tool as well. Sometimes I don't put them down in exactly the right spot. And since this sheet is sticky, you don't have to really press down. As soon as you touch the gem to the little spot where it's supposed to go, it should just stick there. So it's kind of hard to see, but all of these sort of bright neon green colors um, is where I put down a gem. So then you'll just continue to do that until the whole thing is filled up. And like I said, you don't have to do the whole thing in one sitting. It does get kind of tedious. Um, so I'm just going to cover that up with my sheet and I can always come back to it later and work on it. And if you need to put your gems away, um, this little tray makes it easy to dump these back in the bag. And I spilled one. All right, so now I'm just going to seal that up and I can come back to it later. Um, if you accidentally drop your gems or something happens, your cat decides they're going to knock them over, I do have some extra. So... If you need more of the gems or if you just have questions, you can go ahead and email me. 
Um, but that's about it for this project. Next month, we're going to be doing rolled uh, beeswax candles. So keep an eye on the calendar for that. Thank you.